And here it is, welcome to Kharka Sharifa, the shrine of the cloak of the Prophet Muhammad in Kandahar, southern Afghanistan. This place is probably one of the most famous in all of Kandahar. And essentially it's a big shrine in the middle of the city and it houses the cloak that is said to have been worn by the Prophet Muhammad during his night journey in the year 621. And it ended up here after being donated by the founder, the one of the founding fathers of Afghanistan, uh, Durrani Shah, whose tomb is actually nearby. Wow. So this is it. In this box up here, just behind this sort of uh, black curtain, is the box where the cloak of the Prophet Muhammad is kept. And the gentleman who is running this shrine told me that when Muhammad was taking his journey during the night, that this cloak was sent down to him from heaven. And now it's ended up here. How incredible is this? And check out the decorations on this place as well. This is just so beautiful. Again, just intricate tiling, beautiful painting and the colors are just gorgeous. And check these out, we've got all of these old original handwritten Quranic manuscripts here. So copies of the Quran written by hand. I don't know how old these are, but I imagine they're pretty, pretty old. And then this is the gate here that you go through to get to the cloak. Only very, very few people are allowed through this gate. And this is pure silver, Sli Spinzer. Spinzer. This is made of pure silver, this gate. And check out the writing on this. This year here, it says 1336. And they're telling me that this is when this gate was built. So this has been here for like almost 700 years. And yeah, essentially only really, really important people and officially recognized leaders of Afghanistan are allowed through this silver door here. And perhaps Kharka Sharif's most famous moment was in 1996 when Mullah Umar, the founder of the Taliban, went through this door and took the cloak out of the box and wore it himself. It was such a symbolic moment, such a historical moment. This is yet another place in Afghanistan that's got me speechless. And the intricate decorations on the walls here, the colors, and just how extravagant everything is, it's, it's incredible. And it's such a surreal feeling to be here after, you know, just last year, people were calling Kandahar one of the most dangerous places in the world. And to just walk up here and be allowed to walk around freely and film with no one hassling me is a real, real privilege. How does this work? For sick, um, sick, Oh. oh, it makes you healthy. Healthy. Uh -huh. But healthy is very good. Oh, that's salt. It's salt. Right, so we've got a special kind of salt, salt here that makes you healthy when you're healthy. sick, apparently. Thank you. Wow, what an incredible experience that was. And check out the outside of this place, by the way. And then this building right behind uh, Kharka Sharifa is actually the tomb of Ahmad Shah Durrani, the founder, the king, and considered probably the founding father of modern Afghanistan. And he was actually the guy who donated uh, Muhammad's cloak to Kharka Sharifa in Kandahar. And there's a graveyard here as well. I'm being told these are all sort of important people in the history of Afghanistan. And this is a pretty good spot to be buried, I guess, right outside this beautiful place. And just to be able to roam around this place freely is really, really unheard of in the past, you know, 10 years or so. Like Kandahar, up until eight or nine months ago, was completely off limits. Like people called it one of the most dangerous areas in the world. But now today, it's completely secure. We're walking around, we're filming. We've got a couple of people following us, but it's more so just out of interest of what we're doing here. Because really, these people wouldn't have seen a foreigner for years. So this is it. We're at the door to the tomb of King Ahmed Shah Durrani. We actually can't film inside. So uh, I'll turn this off for now, but I'll show you the, around the outside of the building. This place is incredible, man. Check out that classic sort of Central Asian style turquoise dome on the top as well. And there you are. That has got to be one of the coolest places I've ever visited in my life. More so just because, like, as I said, a year ago, not even a year ago, nine, ten months ago, 
you could have read about this place and thought that it would just be a place that you'd only read about in books on the internet and a place that you'd never get to visit just because of the security situation and where it's located. But today I'm roaming around freely here. No one's hassling me. I'm filming and I'm enjoying some of the incredible untouched historical sites of Afghanistan. You just have to really get out there and do it, man. Don't think about doing it, just do it. Yeah, man, just don't hesitate to say yes to chances when they come along. Just go with it and it's more than likely that something incredible will happen and you'll get to have a once in a lifetime experience.